kind of special? Yeah, well, look, I mean, I think the biggest thing he brings is just the knowledge of the game and, and his consistency and the way that he he goes about his business every single day. I mean, he works extremely hard. Um, he's highly intelligent. You know, he, he's a guy that you can always count on uh, really to be in the right spot at the right time. And, and um, you know, that, that – that's led to a lot of plays that he's made, you know, in our league over a long, you know, long career. So uh, I just think his his presence out there in terms of a calming influence to our football team and, and just knowing that he's going to be in the right spot, he's going to help other people get in the right spot too. And that's a, like a calming influence like on the field itself too? Yeah, because there's no panic in his play, and so he's able to kind of help everybody kind of get lined up and, and – um, you know he's going to be in the right spot, and and he sees a lot of things, you know, during the game that, um, you know, where he can help on the sideline with with some of the younger guys and and help them see where there's some plays to potentially be made. Do you, what was the biggest vision you had for him when you targeted him in free agency? Was it more of the intangibles or the tangibles, or, or or was it as a football mind you like how much you can variety you can do with him? Yeah, look, I think it's a combination of things. Um, you know, um, you know, all the intangibles are good, and yet if you're not a player that still has the ability to make plays, um, you know, all the intangibles don't do us really a whole lot of good. And so the fact that, you know, he had that leadership ability, he had that football knowledge, uh, and yet was still, you know, in my opinion, playing at a, at a, at a high level. And so that was – that was what we what we were hoping that we were getting out of him. Uh, I think this year it, it's be, been even a, a a bigger improvement in terms of what we're getting out of him because I think he's a lot more uh, comfortable with what we're doing defensively as well as a lot more comfortable taking on that leadership role in the secondary. Do you, what's kind of been the ch- small sample size that you've seen some, from C.J. Stroud, but what are some of the things that you've seen that stand out about him? He, he doesn't seem to turn it over a whole lot, obviously. No, I I think he's playing at a very high level. I told, you know, the team today that, you know, I think the quarterback's playing at a high level, and I'm not talking about a high level for a rookie. I'm talking about a high level for an NFL quarterback. Um, I think he's done a really good job of going through his progressions. Uh, I think he knows where to go with the football. He gets the ball out generally in rhythm and timing. Uh, does have the ability to, to improvise and make some plays on the move. Uh, I just think he's really operating their offense at a at a really high level. Yeah, obviously it doesn't help when Juwan's injured, but what what has been the challenge kind of this year with just getting the tight ends involved in the uh, the passing game? Yeah, look, I mean, um, I you know part of part of Juwan, you know, not being available the, really the last couple of weeks, I think has 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 been a challenge for us. Um, you know, I, I just think a lot of it has to do with how. You know, teams end up playing us, and um, you know we got a lot of weapons, and so uh, we're going to continue to work to, you know, get the ball into our playmakers' hands as best we can. And and if that if that ends up being the tight ends, that's awesome. Uh, but if somebody else is making the plays, uh, we got no challenges with, with that either. And just what have you guys seen from from Andrew Speed? Just you know, obviously getting the chance to play, and and just you know, since he's had the opportunity to get on the field a little bit. Yeah, look, I, I think Andrus is a, is a good player. I mean, the the, uh, the biggest thing for Andrus is just his ability uh, to be available, and um, and that's that's kind of been the, the the big challenge with him. You know, he missed a significant portion of the you know training camp uh, last week. He was out with a concussion. Um, you know, he practiced today, and and uh, you know we'll see we'll see where he's at as the week goes on, but. Um, you know, I think he's he's a he's a big part of what we what we want to be able to do, and I think he can help us. Yeah, how big is it getting uh, Marcus May back this week? Yeah, look, I think that's been I think that'll be a uh, you know a good addition for us. Uh, I do think the guys that have stepped in and played in his absence have done a good job, uh, and yet, you know, I think Marcus can be a, a difference maker type of player for us. So uh, we're excited about having him back out there. Yeah, guys like Alvin and Mike, obviously they came in as young players and kind of developed into this locker room. It seems like there might be a, them taking on a bigger leadership role from a vocal perspective in the locker room. Would, that, would you say that's accurate? And you know, what have you seen from them in that regard? Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's accurate. I mean, I think, 
you know, both of those guys over the last couple of years uh, have taken on a bigger leadership role. You know, obviously, you know, in Mike's situation with some of the injuries, it's hard to kind of be that guy when you're not out there playing. Uh, and yet I think both of those guys, you know, understand what it takes to win in our league. Um, and I think they can express that to, you know, a lot of the other guys. We've got some young guys that haven't experienced that uh, in our league. And, and, and quite frankly, there's some veteran guys that really haven't experienced that in our league. And so their ability to, to uh, you know, communicate to the guys exactly what it takes to, you know, to play at a high level both individually and, and collectively as a group, uh, I think is, is, is a big part of what they can bring to our team. Yeah, just out of curiosity, I think you're, you guys average less like play action attempts than, than most teams. Is that just like a, is that a player preference? Is that a, a play calling preference? How, how would, why would you kind of say that is? Yeah, look, I think each week is different. You know, um, you know, I think um, you know play action can be a big part of what you do uh, offensively. I think it's a better part of what you do offensively when you're able to run the ball effectively. So, uh, you know, I thought we we ran the ball better this week and and. Hopefully we can continue to run the ball well, and, and I think that will open up some things that we can do in the play-action passing game. And uh, just in terms of the offensive line, it was was last week maybe just their better their best game as a as a you know one through five unit. Yeah, I think overall, um, you know, I, th- I think the last couple of weeks they've they've played uh, significantly better, and so um, you know. Hopefully we're, we're getting back closer to, to, to being healthy along the offensive line with all of our guys, uh, and that, that group will you know, continue to gel cohesively as a group. What, what have you guys seen from uh, James Hurst just throughout the season? Yeah, James, James has you know, been a guy that's a veteran guy that's moved around and played a lot of different positions. Um, you know, and so... Uh, you know, there's been a little bit of inconsistency, and yet I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, he's kind of moved around to a bunch of different spots. So, um, you know, again, he's a, he's a veteran player that, that provides a lot of flexibility for us, um, and, and I think he's a big part of, you know, our ability to be successful along the offensive line. Yeah, it's kind of a quirky schedule this year, at least in the first half, a lot of AFC opponents. Is it a challenge to try to prepare for two different quarterbacks in two different systems you haven't really seen in the span of 10 days? Yeah, I don't know about the span of 10 days. I'm focused on what we're doing with uh, the Houston Texans right now. They present a lot of challenges in terms of what they do offensively uh, and, and how they're operating offensively. Uh, I think it's a really good scheme, and I think they're executing at a high level. Um, just, if I remember right, going into the Carolina game, um, you weren't terribly enthusiastic about discussing the notion that your defenses have been really good against rookie quarterbacks. Um, is that, would you say that's accurate? And, and why, why don't you like that premise? Yeah, because I don't, think, I don't think any of the previous performances have anything to do with uh, the outcome of, uh, you know, our next, our next game and against our next opponent. So each and every one's a, a different challenge. Um, and so, you know, we try to, we try to take those on, you know, individually instead of trying to collectively look at, you know, maybe what we've been able to do against, uh, you know, rookie, rookie quarterbacks or young quarterbacks. Uh, this guy presents uh, a lot of challenges for us. Uh, I think CJ Stroud, again, like I said, I think he's operating at a really high level. Uh, I think they've got some weapons to get the ball to, um, and, and I think this is going to be a really tough game to go into their place and, and have to play them uh, at home in Houston. Is there anything in particular about his combination of skill sets and the way he seems to be thinking or processing that makes him stand out relative to other rookies? Yeah, look, I, I think you know the one thing that you do see sometimes out of rookie quarterbacks is is um, you know you see them not always processing the information as quickly as they need to and getting the ball to the right spots all the time, uh, which presents some challenges for the offense. And, and, and that's not what I see out of this player. I see this player, uh, operating at a high level. He knows exactly where he wants to go with the ball. Uh, he's throwing the ball accurately on time and they've got good weapons to get the ball to. So, uh, again, I, 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 I just look at this as a, a really good, you know, football team that we're facing and a, and a team that's operating 
uh, at a really high level offensively. Does his mobility also play into – has that helped him in your opinion yet? Or? Yeah, look, I think um, I think that's one of the things that, that uh, you know, he's done a few times is be able to kind of extend the play a little bit uh, and be able to find some explosive plays down the field. He did that a little bit in a two-minute drive last week against – uh, Atlanta and, and create an explosive play down the field. So, uh, yeah, I think his mobility is, is definitely a factor. Hey Dennis, I think this is the second time you guys have gone up against somebody right after they play Atlanta. It, like, uh, is Atlanta running anything at all similar to what y'all are running with, with Nielsen there? Is that, are, are you guys able to see? Yeah I, yeah, I would say there's, there's some similarities that you see at times and yet, um, you know, there's a lot of differences in terms of what we do and how we play. And so, uh, but yeah, I, I think, um, you know, much like when we're studying Houston, we're going to go back and look at uh, some of the things that we've seen, uh, you know, when we played San Francisco because it's the same system of offense and yet, uh, and yet they're doing some different things. So, um, yeah, we, we try to study not only – uh, teams that we've we we've, we've played and, and and you pay attention to the coordinator, but yet you're also trying to look at teams that play similar style of defense to you, um, and, and see exactly how they're trying to attack that type of defense. Okay. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks very much. Okay, guys. Thanks. How are you doing?